Adjustable rate loans are mortgage loans where the interest rate adjusts at certain predetermined intervals. In this video, we're gonna go over the different components of the adjustable rate mortgage. These components or provisions are typically outlined in an adjustable rate promissory note or an adjustable rate rider that is attached to the original promissory note. The first component in the ARM loan is the adjustment interval. This determines how often the interest rate adjusts. Typically, we will see anywhere from monthly to annually to perhaps even longer intervals. The longer the interval, the more interest rate risk the lender keeps, the shorter the adjustment interval, the more interest rate risk is passed along to the borrower. Adjustable rate loans typically have an initial interest rate called a teaser rate that is a more attractive, often extra low rate that is unrelated to the composite rate that will be in place throughout the life of the loan. Interest rates in adjustable loans are typically tied to an index. The index is the indicator of the market interest rates to which the loan is tied and is what is used to help set the rate at each adjustment period. Common indices for adjustable rate loans in the United States are treasury bills or the 11th district cost of funds, sometimes called coffee. The index is the basis for the interest rate at each adjustment period. Once the market rate from the index is determined, the lender adds what they call a margin to that index. This is the lender's premium over and above the market rate. The combination of the index plus the margin is referred to as the composite rate. And that's the new rate which the borrower will pay at the next adjustment interval. Each adjustment interval occurs on the reset date. And that's the date when the interest rate and the payments are reset. Interest rate change caps protect from wild swings in the interest rate and make the rate much more steady throughout the life of the loan. The maximum potential interest rate is what's called the interest rate ceiling. And the ceiling is the highest level that the composite rate can ever be regardless of what the index and the margin add up to. In addition to the interest rate ceiling, we also usually see an interest rate floor, which determines the minimum interest rate to which the loan can change at any given time. The interest rate floor protects the lender from interest rates falling so low that they're earning virtually no yield on the loan itself. Once the interest rate is reset and the new payment is calculated, the loan will also invoke what's called payment caps. The payment cap is a limit to how much a payment can go up in order for the borrower to not experience what's called payment shock. Often, the interest rate can go up more than one point at an adjustment interval, but there will be, say, a 5 or 10% limit to how much the payment can go up. This can sometimes put us into a situation where we have negative amortization, and that's because interest is accruing at a rate faster than it's being paid down. Sometimes adjustable rate loans will have what's called a conversion option, and that's the option the borrower can exercise in order to convert the loan from an adjustable rate to a fixed rate. Typically, there's a fee associated with this conversion, but it gives the borrower the opportunity to lock in their interest rate and have it stay the same for the remainder of the loan. Adjustable rate loans can come in a variety of variations or hybrid options, such as interest only for the first couple years or a loan that is fixed for the first five or 10 years and then becomes adjustable. 